Okay, here we're looking at the TFF admin duties, and these are focused around relationship building, tennis for free, session administration, and general administration. Let's have a little look at those in a little bit more detail. So first off, we've got relationship building and the importance of that. The first area we're looking at is an important relationship with the council. Every council will have a linked person to the scheme, and it's important that that person is actively engaged in the tennis for free scheme. So it, developing a relationship with this person or the council in general is really key. And they'll be able to help with promotion of the session and other promotional angles too. Secondly, the linked tennis club or tennis outlet is essential. Making sure there's a functional link from the tennis for free sessions through to further tennis opportunities is really key. Not only that, but the linked club are required to provide top up equipment uh, and various other support. So making sure that there's a, a good functional link with your club or that there's another tennis outlet that can forward that tennis interest is essential. And finally, TFF session attendees. These are really important. And relationship building in this area is essential, both in ensuring sessions are well received and that there are volunteers and other coaches that come from the sessions. And not only that, but obviously the follow-on pathways are key. Next, we've got the actual session administration. So when your TFF scheme has been approved, you'll have a court line site created for you. It'll look something like this, and this will either be the main place that people go and book in from, and you'll need to manage this micro website as part of your TFF work, or you have the option to run it through ClubSpark. If you run the sessions through ClubSpark, you will notice you'll see a tennis for free book box. This is where the public will be booking in to your sessions. However, activity on your Club Spark site will effectively also book on to the Hidden Away Court Line site in this case. Regardless as to whether your sessions are booked in from Court Line or Club Spark, you'll still need, as lead coach or one of the coaching team, to manage the sessions on the Court Line side. Club Spark is only booking from the public and you'll need to manage the bookings from the court line side regardless. How that'll work is simply log in to your account on the court line for your local court line site and then click the what's on section and arrive at the session in question. This can be done on a mobile phone as well and it will shrink to the size of your mobile phone. From here you'll see a series of buttons. You'll see the number of attendees the, the number of administrators and options to book in additional attendees if they haven't booked in but have registered. And the other ones to note are cancel a session if the session weather has been poor and you need to cancel a session. That will alert all attendees that the session is off or simply review the attendance. At the end of every session, you'll need to review the attendance. Simply click that button. It'll show you a list of all of the attendees. Here you can cross any out that didn't actually turn up and add in additional ones if they didn't book in themselves. However, it's important to note that you can only book in attendees that are already on the system. Our advice is if they haven't booked in and haven't registered, that they do so on their phone, either via the ClubSpark page or via the court line. And then once you've asked them to do that, they'll appear in that list anyhow. So try to get an accurate attendance list and then once you've done that, just simply click Submit Attendance at the bottom. That will blur the page and submit the attendance to Tennis for Free. If you go back up to the top then, you'll see that now only two buttons remain, the attendees and the administrators. What is really important though is that all administrators of the session are booked into the session before the session attendance is submitted. This is because the invoicing is matched against uh, administrators. There should be three administrators for any given tennis for free session and those administrators will have a pay rate against their name and that will factor in to an auto invoice at the end of the month. So if one of the people who was there didn't book in, they won't appear on that invoice and it'll make it more complicated for being paid at the end of the month. 
So ensure that all administrators are booked into the session before the session attendance is submitted. Lastly, we've got general administration. And in particular, the training and resources documents on the website are important to look at. So visit the website, and the most important one there is a TFF induction document. But there's also accidents and incidents, invoice in TFF, and the court line tutorials that are particularly useful to look at as well. Then you're looking at ensuring a team of three TFF deliverers each week. That's an essential bit of administration. And then finally, managing invoicing. You'll receive an invoice at the end of the month if you're the assigned person. And you'll need to check that invoice and also check the attachment as to who's been paid. That also the date in which you need to reject the invoice if there's something not right. And if you do reject the invoice, you'll need to complete a manual invoice as per the details on the training resources invoice TFF section.